I'm an assistant professor here at Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering. When I'm not working at USC with Herbie, you can most likely find me in the gym. I prefer impact sports, so martial arts, I like Muay Thai, kickboxing, boxing. I try to make my own shockwaves by hitting the other people as hard as I possibly can. I didn't really know anything about shockwaves when I applied for my PhD program. Um, I came into this interview with my professor and, his co and my co-advisor and they told me about shockwaves and I was like, hmm, what is a shockwave? I didn't really know, but they explained it to me and I said, well, I'm up for the challenge. If you give me five years when I have to be done, I can do that. So when I started my PhD, I really wanted to be one of the best ones in the world when it came to shockwaves and shockwave focusing. A shockwave is a wave that travels faster than the speed of sound. It's very, very thin, but it carries a lot of energy. I think the coolest part of my research is that shockwaves are generally very fast. And sometimes we have to catch shockwaves that travel 1,500, 1,600 meters per second, which is about 3,600 miles per hour. So that's fast. We catch shockwaves by using visualization techniques of so use high-speed photography. I use a camera uh, that is, it can go up to 1.4 million mm -hmm. frames a second, but typically we run it at about 50,000 to 200,000 frames a second. The first step would be to do sample preparation, the plastic piece that we're looking at for cracks to grow in. The next step would be to take the sample and put it in a catcher box that sits by the end of the gun. After that, you would, would be to hand out earmuffs to all the people in the lab, because these uh, tests can be quite uh, loud. And then you uh, prepare the gun, you pressurize the gun, it has a chamber in the back where you have high pressure air or gas. And then you count down, three, two, one, shoot, and you fire the gun. And the experiment is over in less than uh, uh, two milliseconds. Then uh, what you have to do is just save all the data, get all the, uh, the movies from the cameras, and then you have to clean up. I have four PhD students, and I have two master's students and 10 undergraduate students. Students are working on projects ranging from how do woodpeckers not get brain damage, to underwater explosions. To be a great engineer, I think you have, you need curiosity. And you need to set goals that make you smile. I think that's the best way of becoming best at something. You need to have fun.